friends, Meg Clark here from Clapping Dog Media. And in this video, we are gonna talk all about how you can increase your traffic, increase your rank, and increase your authority with Google by layering your content. If this is your first time hanging out with me, I am Meg Clark and I am an, I am an SEO strategist. I work with creative entrepreneurs who are passionate about what they are doing simply to get more traffic and more traffic that converts. There's strategy behind it and there's a lot of technical stuff, but I want to make it easy and understandable and super actionable so that you can go ahead and take the more traffic. Okay. Also, feel free to jump on that little red button down there and subscribe to my channel. I post one or two videos a week all about fun SEO tips. Okay, so I want to talk about layering content. And the idea behind this is simply to show Google that you are an expertise and you have authority in what it is that you talk about. So when you layer content, what I mean is you look at a topic from many different angles. So you can, so you write multiple posts kind of about what you're a rock star in. So this ability to layer content, if you will, gives you the ability to link, internally link to your other posts, which drives up pages per session, which is a huge ranking factor for Google. And it also increases your, what Google calls your EAT, your expertise, authority, and trust. So if you talk about a subject from multiple angles, multiple times, and you go really deep on that subject, you're going to build your expertise and your trust for Google, which they will automatically rank you higher. How do you do it? How do you build your eat with Google? Well, I have a strategic way that I systematically do it with my clients, and it includes a, a lot of brainstorming as well as Google Analytics. So we can really get the data that we need to drive traffic to our content. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is open up Excel or Google Sheets and make a just a long brainstormy list, there are no wrong answers, of the keywords or the items that you want to be known for. So you make a list of all the things that it would just be super dreamy if somebody Googled and you showed up on page one. This is kind of our target goal or a target keyword list. So think about that, open up your spreadsheet and make a list of all of these keywords. Okay, go and do it. Oh wait. Okay, now that that's done, what we're going to do is look at the most popular pages on your site using Google Analytics. So we wanna see what people are actually reading where the traffic is actually coming on your site. Let's jump over to Google Analytics. Okay, so here we are in Google Analytics and I have gone to acquisition, overview, and then I clicked on organic traffic and up here at the top, I clicked on landing page. So this sheet or this listing of pages are all of the pages that people are actually Googling and clicking on your site. So people are Googling alt tags for SEO and they're clicking on this actual page. Here are pages that are, that are getting traffic within the last week of my, on my site. Like so over on your left, you have your list of keywords that you want to be known for. And then we have a list of pages over here that are actually getting traffic. This is what your, this is what your customer, this is what your audience is actually reading. Okay. So now we need to kind of merge that data and see where the keywords that you want to be found for kind of align with the pages that are getting the most traffic. Does that make sense? Okay, so you picking up what I'm laying down here. We come up with the words we want to be known for. We find the pages that are getting a ton of traffic and we kind of merge them together. So we go through the list of popular pages and we see if there's any way we can update them, add a new headline, 
um, change the title to incorporate the keywords that we really want to be known for. I hope that makes sense. That's the first step. If you need help on updating content, check out the video. I have a two part series on how to update content. Now, moving forward, um, moving forward, how are we going to create an editorial calendar based off of this? Well, you kind of, again, you get these, the merging ideas together. You see what people are really reading. You think about another angle that you can write about in related to your popular pages. And then you include these keywords that you really want to be found for. Does that make sense? That's my, that is the dream. Now, I highly recommend that you, that you write or you think about your writing in series and like three to four part series, because this really adds to the layering effect of your content. It's really, um, you're going to reach SEO gold and SEO magic once you're at the place where your content is really related, you can do a lot of internal linking and on the sidebar, um, on the sidebar of blogs, I know, I know all of you people out there are like, I don't like sidebars. They don't make my site look really pretty. Well, they, whatever. I don't really care about the aesthetics of them. What I care about is the usability of your site and kind of manipulating those three things, if you remember, that Google really cares about. If you don't know, check out the video. I will link to it below. But there are some things that Google really cares about, and they are bounce rate, pages per session, and dwell time. So if once we start layering our content and we create series on the sidebar of our blog, I highly recommend that you put a related menus item or other pages that are related to the blog to the main blog post because this will give users the ability to easily jump around to other pages on your website that will increase their pages per session and they'll spend more time on your website so the dwell time will increase which is another huge ranking factor and not only will google then give you a higher rank and send more traffic your way, but you're establishing yourself as an expert in your field. Because if you keep writing about the same topic, if you show that you're an expert by linking to multiple pages within your website, Google's gonna think you got to know what you're talking about. And they want to give more traffic to the experts in their field. So I hope that gets your mind thinking of how to start building an editorial calendar. A, you figure out what you want to be known for. Then you go through your most popular pages and see if you can find some correlations and if, see if there's another way that you can write about something. Give it another, another look at. And then start there with your editorial calendar. And don't forget to write in series. Multiple posts about the same product or the same idea is super helpful.